Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. It is Horde Night 21, and it's just about ready to start. As you can see, I have some lights up on the stairs there, and yeah, pretty much that's the only change I've made since uh, Horde Night 14. Um, in my inventory, I got all this ammunition. We got a few Molotovs. We've got 47 pipe bombs. 150 shotgun shells, we got meds, we got hobo stew, I even brought some grandpa's learning elixir along. Uh, in case we think uh, that might help, but here they come, look at them. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be a bigger night than the previous nights, but that's to be expected, of course. So let's get in position here. Oh, I upgraded this little platform here to cobble too because um, I'm planning on using pipe bombs tonight and it was just wood, so I wanted to make it a little tougher. So the main concern I have tonight is even with the hammer, I still can't reach out to that block there. So we're just going to really have to keep an eye on it and see you know, how things go. All right, let's get this party started. We are about two thirds or so to the of the way to the next level. It's a nice little collection of combos. Let's throw that in and see what happens here. Well. <laughs> <laughs> blew the torch off the wall, but we got over 3,000 XP from that, so there you go. Oh, nice. That's nice. We'll take it. Looks like some of them fell down, so they're coming back up the return. I should probably take advantage of, you know, when they're... No, Edgar, stop it. The... I have to shoot him to, to get him to not bang on that. the loot coming in okay let's um grab the hammer and um, oh she fell down okay hold on we gotta do that one first just want to come over here and tap that real quick. Make sure it's all in good shape. We've got a dog too. Okay. Oh! She got us there. Bounce it up and down. All right, you know what? If we're going to take this at all, we should take it now because that's when we're going to get the most bang for our buck out of it. Speaking of bang for our buck. All right. Oh, well, so much for those torches. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a... Our helmet light, huh? Um, let's take one of these. Give us a little health. And I'm going to also take one of those, too. Okay. So, I guess if there's dogs, they're shit out of luck because they can't climb ladders. Which is uh, fine with me. Okay, let's do a little bit of touch up on this. It's taking some damage, isn't it? We probably better. Now, hopefully, we'll be at concrete by the next horde night. We'll have to see. Get out there. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Hit her. Why am I having such a hard time hitting Jiggly? There we go. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Alright, let's do a little bit of a touch up here. Everything else is looking pretty good. We got two points. Nice. Let's see what's in here. Ah, nice. Antibiotics. Hey, Lumberjack. That's the fir his first appearance on Horde Night for us. That's a tough sucker, man. Not that tough, though. Hopefully it sticks around until morning. Oh, actually, it's still down there. It's kind of dangerous for me to be getting this close. You didn't need that arm, did you? You definitely don't need that head, and neither do you. Okay, let's grab this. Check this. Get out of there, glass. Ah. Okay, let's repair this. We have plenty of repair kits with us. Touch up. That's in pretty good shape there. Oh. Not loaded. Don't be banging on that. Okay. the stamina bar is so useful. I can pretty much go non-stop until you know, I have to repair the spear. Such a nice nice little perk there. Okay. Yeah, this we might be a, a bit hard-pressed to keep this thing intact on Core 28. We'll see how things go. We might have to fast-track engineering to get to the cement mixer. Oh shit. Get that up. That's actually in pretty good shape. They haven't been um they haven't been doing uh, too much with it. Get out of here. You're on the wrong side, dude. We're not really getting enough of them grouped up for, to warrant using the pipe bomb, so I'm just hanging on to them. Because we can always use them later. There we go. Nice. We're getting some decent stuff. Hold still, darling.
Down with you. And stay down. <laughs> first then this one they haven't even damaged that at all nice very nice so that's looking pretty good Billy the biker I think that that's his first appearance on Horde Knight 2 um we'll just play through of course Fill that stamina bar, baby. Is that a new Billy or the, did he fall off? Yeah, Billy's going to get the AK from now on. He's just so damn tough. Um, looking good, though. Otherwise. We're almost halfway to the next level. Where's the dog's hat? Look at him down there. All right, take care of them. Um, all right, let's hop outside really quick while we have a second. Top that off, make sure the tight wire is good. They're not doing any major damage on the stairs. Yeah, the dogs have no choice. They can't get up the ladder, so they have to go down there. <laughs> You didn't need that leg, did you? You didn't need that head, did you? Alright, it's a little after 1 o'clock. Everything is working out pretty good so far. I don't know why they were hitting on it so much on... You know that top lock why they were hitting on it so much on uh, 14 because they're not they're not hardly doing it at all now which is good but I'd like to kind of understand why you know is that it it's not a dog down there oh dear I think he fell through all the way down to the bottom of the cathedral. All right, well, it's 1.30. Let's, um... Yeah, 
So the dogs are coming. You still coming or are you a different dog? I don't see very well. He's dead now. Is that it? Did we kill the horde? Hmm. Uh, it's kind of looking that way. Let's just wait for a, a couple moments longer just to see if there's another wave coming. But we got almost a full level because we're almost back to where we started the night with in our on our XP bar. two spear magazines iron spear quality five okay we're gonna make that because it's gonna be a little bit better oh look at that guys we can now do steel spear um i guess it begs the question though is this is the level one steel spear better than the level five iron spear there's only really one way to find out and if it isn't then we can always sell it and we'll still make pretty decent money from it Yeah, I I think we're done. <laughs> I think we killed the horde. Uh, let's see. We want to save the dog food because that's needed for a recipe. We want to save the ravioli. We want to save the lamp cuts. Um, I think we deserved another hobo stew there for a successful horde night. And you know what? There might actually be some loot bags down there too. So nothing else we could... Go down and skin a couple dogs. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not right there, anyway. Okay, well, let's cautiously go down. No loot bags down here. I guess we got them all. There's a dog. Where is he at? Where are you, puppy? I don't know where he is. He's, he must be, like, stuck in the church or something. All right. Well, as long as he can't get to us. Uh, let's check these. Yeah, these are kind of important. That one's in good shape. That needs a little attention. Everything down here is in good shape. I'm gonna um I'm gonna go all the way back to the top and then work my way down just making sure everything's tip uh topped off repair wise. Yeah, see they they did some work on this block. Top ladder some attention to there. Everything along here seems to be in pretty good shape. Okay. I think we already checked all of this. Uh, right. Just a little bit of touching up. Yeah, I wonder if um maybe if we put torches in uh, uh, up against the back wall, 
So they're outside of the explosion radius, I guess. So I could put, yeah, if I put like, you know, a few more torches up against that back wall, that'll light things up in here reasonably well, I think. Okay, so before we head, uh, yeah, before we head back down, uh, let's just look at our skills. So we have two points to spend. Um, let's go back to intellect and advanced engineering, craftsman. So to get this, we need intellect six. And we currently have intellect four. I I think I'm I'm really feeling like we're gonna need concrete by horde twenty eight. So we're gonna you know this doesn't guarantee that we're gonna get it, but it really increases our chances quite a bit that we will. Uh, plus, I like the fact that we get XP from electrical trap kills when the time comes because I usually use uh, you know electric fences on my horde my end game horde bases anyways. Um, physician sure would be nice though, but you know, that can come later. I think we better let's do what we need to do to get into concrete. There's a, there's some stuff here I want too, but I feel like this is the priority. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put. Oh, shoot, we're gonna need two points just for this. So we're gonna need a total of two more points because we still have the one before we can get advanced uh, get craftsmen here okay well there you have it guys let's just yeah let's just kind of walk down anything that's He's a little touching up. They don't really do too much damage to this to the stairs though, which is good. Nice. Okay, it's 3.30. Let's go back to the base. And I want to see what it's going to take for us to make a steel uh, spear. Oh, only one spear part. That's actually not that expensive. We've got all that stuff here. Let's um, let's track that. <clears throat> we have eleven spear parts. So we need that. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the pipe bombs back in here. I will keep the molotovs with me though. And we'll have one stack of 762s and 75 shotgun shells. This should be adequate for now. This is a nice uh, shovel that we got too. Crossbow bolts can go in there until we can do crossbows. Slight armor. We'll probably, uh, whoops, uh, just end up fixing it up and selling it. Okay, so we need 10 steel. Whoops. Three leather. And three duct tape. All right, so let's make this. Take two and a half minutes. And then I'm also going to make uh, the blue spear, because remember here again, whichever one is is not uh, as good, we can sell it and make a decent chunk of change. So it's it'll be worth doing for that reason alone. And it's morning. Okay, 
Let's repair this. That's not even going to be worth fixing up to sell. Um, so let's just melt it down. Get some iron back from it. Okay, what do we need to make a blue iron spear? We need 48 iron ingots. <clears throat> Six leather. Six duct tape. Okay. So, um, when uh, these spears are finished, we will do a comparison on them and uh, see which one wins out. I, I really don't know, actually. I'm not sure how this is going to go down. Either way, uh, either one of them, though, are going to be an improvement over the green spear that we've been using. Look at that. This is the, the first time in this playthrough that we've ha actually had... A surplus of water we've been fine on water for a while now but we haven't had what I would call a surplus of it finally what a nice feeling all right we got 49 seconds left on this guy that's interesting if I do a normal attack my stamina starts to recharge immediately look in the lower left hand corner on the blue bar but if I do a power attack there's a good second and a half to two seconds of a delay before it starts to come back. I never knew that. Is that new or has it always been that way? I don't know. Okay, so here's the comparison without any mods. And we do have to take mods into account because the blue one can fit three. All right, so the blue... The blue has better normal attack, but... Minus 7.4 less power attack damage and less uh, armor penetration. But remember, we can only put one mod on the, the steel spear, which would need to be this one for the stamina. Okay, so now... Uh, here, let's take the this one and let's put All oh, right, we can't put that that mod on there. Okay, so So even with the blue spear with these two mods on it, the steel spear still has 7.4 more points of power attack. And and it has more target armor. What if we... Well, no, wait a minute. Are we... We need to look at this correctly, though. <clears throat> that has 56.6 power attack. That has 50.1. We, we can't look at the parentheses because it doesn't take into account the mods. So we have to look at the actual values. Um... And that, yeah, that ignores 50% armor. That ignores 40% armor. Hmm. If we were to put this on here. Okay, so now this is fully modded. It's still the same. So the two most important... Uh, to me, anyways, the two most important stats are power attack damage and armor penetration. And the steel spear, without any mods, is still superior to the blue iron spear, fully modded, in those two um, respects. Okay, well, I think that means the steel spear wins out. Um, and we will be keeping the ergonomic thingamadoodle on it because we're going to need it for the stamina to help counter the stamina usage. And we'll put our 
red dot on that. And I'm going to keep the... I'm going to keep these mods for, you know, for when we get a, a better quality steel spare later on, or, or maybe for something else. Now, uh, let's repair this. Let's see what the difference in price is between these two. It's 347, 453. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I think we'll just keep the green one as our backup spear, and we'll sell this so we so we get maximum uh, maximum money from that. All right, let's see. Don't think I wanted to sell any of these. I got perception. I got a tough guy's sunglasses. Okay. Um. Right. We need some leather to repair this. I don't know. I don't. I, may, I might want to actually start thinking about hanging on to, to a little bit better quality light armor. So I think I will do that. So we can just sell this instead. I mean, it's worth 120 coins for cloth armor. That's pretty good. Yeah, so when we start coming across higher quality light armor, I'll replace, you know, I'll replace the cloth armor with whatever it is that we get. Okay, so we're selling these two items to the trader. And we are now the proud owners of a steel spear, ladies and gentlemen. 50% armor penetration. And... Uh, better power attack than the best iron spear that I can make. Now, if we if we happen to come across a purple iron spear and some loot, then we should probably do that comparison again. Though I don't know I don't know if the iron spears can can penetrate more than 40% armor anyways. So that stat probably is fixed, but <clears throat> If the power attack damage is significantly more, you know, it still might be worth doing. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, that was a easy peasy lemon squeezy horde night for sure. Uh, let's look at. Let's look at workstations. So we got to get all the way to tier three to get the cement mixer. Jeez, man, that's going to be tough. We 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 got to come up with 12 We have to come up with 12 magazines between now and you know, the next horde night and actually a little before then cuz I'm going to need some time to upgrade. But, I mean, you know, by putting more points into engineering, we're going to start seeing more of those magazines as we go along. So, we might be able to pull it off. I I hope we can cuz I'm not so sure how, how well that base will do on 28. Uh you know, with just cobblestone. We might be able to manage it, but I don't think it's going to be as as easy as things were tonight. Because at some point, the hordes are going to keep coming. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to peter out. I just don't remember uh, which horde night it is where that starts happening, but it could be 28, so... Because it's, it's just the first few hordes, you know, I don't know if it's the first two, three, four, whatever, where you can kill them all but after a while, then they just keep coming no matter what. Which is good from an XP standpoint. We just need to make sure that our base can handle it is the thing. All right. What are we doing here? We got uh, a Mason's Barn quest and a Goldsmith Residence. Both of those are new, uh, at least to me. So that'll be fun. But we are going to have to, of course, do that in the next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. I was seeing if there's a, a victim out there we could try our new spear on. And we'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.